It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. G three. G3, what's going on? What's up, my beautiful G3 family? Welcome back to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. Come on, give your girl a like. Okay, let's share and subscribe. Join the G3 family. I would love to have you. If you're all about elevation, ascension, then this is where you need to be. Okay, so yes, let's get right into this energy. <clears throat> I was picking up on somebody pregnant. Somebody that is pregnant that's around some type of negative energy. Now, this is just a side note because this is what I was picking up on right before I turned on the camera. So, somebody is is bringing forth new life, okay? And I feel like you're around some type of negative energies. You have to clear your space, cleanse, cleanse your energy, okay? Um, I feel like it's something very special about this child. Uh... I feel like this child can can feel the energies around you. So it's like your ch your child is telling you to get away from these negative energies. And I feel like you know who these people are or you know what you need to do to cleanse your energy. I feel like you know and I and 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 that knowing is is you and your baby connecting with each other. Your baby is is trying to get you to clear your energy. <clears throat> Also, I feel like it's time for you to, so so this is another, something else I was picking up. It's time to transform your pain into power. Um, it's time to transform your suffering into peace. I feel like I could be talking to a Virgo energy, somebody who's Virgo. Somebody's name is Madonna, or somebody likes Madonna. Something with Madonna. <laughs> and the color black is significant too. So uh, I feel like, yeah, it's time to transform your pain into power and your suffering into peace, okay? I feel like um, stop letting, the, stop letting the, the pain get the best of you, the suffering get the best of you. I, I feel like somebody has to understand how life grows you, how, how life... Uh, uh, molds you, okay? And I feel like the the fastest way sometimes, and the and the best way sometimes for the universe to mold us into these great, powerful beings is with pain and suffering. Yeah, because you got to go through the fire. So when you go through the fire, you come out gold. But the fire is hot. It it, it burns. It hurts. So somebody's in the energy of transforming their pain into power, or that's what it's that's what it's it's time for you to do. Um, also, I'm seeing somebody here is very mystical. Somebody is, uh, and I feel like this is okay. This is why somebody's suffering is great. Somebody's pain is great. So somebody's trying to understand why they had to suffer so much, or why they're suffering so much, or why they're in so much pain. It's because it's some type of. Uh, mystical path that you're on and I feel like this path is it, it requires 
you to be molded a certain way. It's, it, 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 it's requ it requires you to, to be a certain way. So it took, it took a massive, I'm saying a massive amount of pain and suffering to mold you to this mystical being. Yeah. Magical. I heard mythical too. Get in tune with nature. I feel like there's some type of nature god or goddess or you connect with some type of nature god or goddess or it's something about a mythical a mythical nature god. But um, I feel like they co coexist with you, um, and and I feel like they want. It's like there's some it, yeah, it's some type of peace that this energy. It's like, it's some type of like mythical, like nature energy. So like a fairy or something like that. I, I, and it's so crazy because I I don't pick up on these type of things. So. It's like I'm 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 seeing some type something with a nature god goddess or god or something like that, and and they're around you, and they and they want to provide you some type of peace, <clears throat> because yes they know that your pain and your suffering has has been great, but they want you to understand why, and they want you to come, like t to come to peace with what you've been through. And turn everything that you have been through into some type of power for you. Into some type of, uh, you're supposed to receive something. You're supposed to be compensated for your pain and suffering. So maybe somebody has a lawsuit or something like that. Somebody has, somebody suing somebody. But, but I feel like there is some type of compensation that's coming towards you for some type of pain and suffering. Time to gather something. Maybe somebody's moving. Somebody's about to move. Somebody's packing up, leaving. <clears throat> Focus on your children. Yeah, I feel like take time. Okay. Thank you. Um, I feel like it's time for you to focus on your children that's how I'm picking up I was picking up on children so it's something about your oh your child is telling you about two women it's two female energies that's around you okay so I guess so okay so be mindful of the energies around you. There's two females around you now. This, if you really, if you're with child, then I'm, I'm. This message is truly for you because they're telling you that it's some type of negative energy that's around you, and your child can pick up on these two feminine energies. Okay. So yeah, I feel like, see how she's connecting with her child. I feel like your child is trying to connect to you to tell you about. You see, it's three females on this card. So it's like to tell you about two females that you're with. Okay? Let me get one more. Mother. Okay, two more came out. Didn't I say nature spirits? Didn't I say that? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there's some type of elves or fairies around you. Something something is in the rocks or something like that. Respect your physical body. Detox, rejuvenate, relax. I feel like... Somebody needs to go to the woods, okay? Somebody needs to go to the woods. But somebody's in the woods. Somebody connects with fairies and, and gods and goddesses of, of nature in the woods, okay? I feel like somebody chants in the woods. Something about music, music playing, dancing, sound, tone, frequency, uh, meditating in the woods. So whoever meditates in the woods, I feel like you're connecting with, with a lot of fairies, a lot of like elves, and 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 I'm seeing that somebody pick, somebody collects rocks. It's something about rocks. 
you do something with rocks or rocks. You like rocks. What do I want? Like this one? Thank you. Yeah, I feel like it's... So if, if somebody is by the woods, it's time for you to go to the woods. Clarify getting to nature. Ooh. Walking away. So I feel like... Um, you walk, you walked away from some type of something that was very heartbreak. Yeah, pain, right? Something you walked away, something was causing you some type of pain and suffering, and you walked away from it. All right, and I feel like uh, when you walked away with it, you you connected yourself with some with nature, or you connected yourself with what is coexisting with you. Okay, because because I, I feel like it's some type of it's an energy it's a, it's it's an energy that's coexisting with you. Okay, that's giving you strength along this journey. So when you when you walked away from something that was, yeah, it was something that you were you were very connected to, you you loved a lot, or you know some, something that was uh very painful for you. Whoever or whatever this was, see, isn't this like a fairy around? Right. As soon as you walked away, you connected with this fairy. As soon as you walked away. I feel like this fairy is trying to get you to activate your roots or it's like it's trying to get you to go back to your to your roots so to your to the beginning I feel like you're getting a second chance at something because you walked away from something that was breaking your heart okay um, you could this could this could be a masculine energy. You walked away from somebody who gave you some type of of false love offer, okay? Or this could be a feminine energy who was giving somebody a real a real love offer and they did nothing but take your heart and break it. However it goes, you walked away from something and you you activated your ancestors, you activated your roots, you activated your fairies, okay? I feel like somebody has a very mystical uh like connection, all right? I feel like um like the birds, the animals, uh, the the bugs. I just feel like, you know, it's just something very mystical about you, all right? And I feel like it's activating even more, you know. Um, maybe your green thumb is getting better and, and you know, I just feel like you're, you're connecting more with, with your roots, okay, with the beginning, all right? I feel like something with music, something... Okay, somebody does music. Somebody here is, uh, and they play some type of instrument. Okay, some type of flute. They can play some type of flute or they, it's like, uh, or just whatever type of instrument somebody plays. I feel like music is a part of somebody's roots. Okay, so instruments and singing and sound and I'm seeing very tribal, like like a very tr tribal ancestral tribes. So it's time for you to get back to your roots, get back to your music. Maybe you love, you know, maybe you used to do music and you stopped. Okay, maybe you used to play an instrument and you stopped. You used to, it's like some, whatever you did, whatever type of gift you had, you know, maybe you, you know, um, you used to like to color or draw or, you know, uh, paint, um, write, whatever you used to like to do. I feel like now you're walking towards, you're walking to, back towards you. I feel like life kind of took you on a journey, but it took you a journey, it took you on a journey to lead you back to you, okay, back to your original self, all right, so um, within your original self, your roots are activated, it's like, you know how, like, when you're a child, it's like, they, it's, you know, it's like they have a, a, a connection with, with the universe and with God and with mother and stuff like that, because they, they say that they just came from, from 
you know, the other side so that their connection to angelic beings and stuff is really strong. And it's because they're in their original form, all right? So it's like you had to get back to this childlike energy to experience this this type of heaven. So there's 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 a heaven for you. And this is what this is what you gotta understand. This this heaven it took pain and suffering to get to. So we, we're not upset at the pain and the suffering. No, the pain and the suffering led us back to the original self. So I feel like, yes, you're walking away from whatever doesn't serve you. You're walking away from whatever broke your heart, whatever, you know, drained you of your energy, whatever didn't see you, whatever didn't accept you, okay? Whatever uh, had you feeling, you know, crying at night, okay? I'm seeing this teardrop. Somebody was crying, but you walked away from sadness. It's like you, you didn't want that energy no more. And this is what they're, if this is not what you have done, this is, this is what they're telling you you need to do. You need to turn this pain into, into power, okay? And you do, and you do that by connecting to your roots, going back to the original you, okay? Going back to this childlike energy. Root chakra, right? I feel like this is what you need to. So whoever is is, is with child, this pregnant energy, okay? Or you can you can be pregnant with with uh with an idea, you know what I'm saying? You can be pregnant with something that you're trying to create, something that you're, you're giving birth to, it's your baby, okay? If you're not necessarily with child, I was picking up somebody with a child, with a child, but if you're in the energy of creating something, you are pregnant as well, okay? But I feel like this, this pregnant energy uh, needs to connect to their roots, okay? Because their roots is trying to tell them to walk away from whatever whatever these negative energies are it's time to get away from that because your child is what is what needs you right now okay something i feel like something about patience impatient okay so maybe these are like impatient energies that you need to get away from okay energies that that need to that's always about them like they need you to be focused on them and you're and you need to be focused on this child or focused on what you're creating okay i feel like something wants to take your focus something wants to take you away from you connecting to your roots connecting to your original self okay something wants to keep you in this pain and suffering energy but at the end of the day if you it's like you walking away ensures that you connect to your roots. You focus on your child. You grow. You grow a, a, a healthy baby because I feel like somebody is like I said. You're pregnant. Somebody's pregnant with something that's very precious. Okay. You're pregnant with something very precious, and this and this 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 baby in your stomach is 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 very. empathic. Didn't I say anxious? It's like they want you to come out of. I feel like maybe you're even thinking about like walking away from something or walking away from somebody or like, you know, maybe you're trying to figure out how to get away from this energy or these energies. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it's time to do it. I feel like, I feel like it's, somebody got to speed up the process. Okay. Cause I feel like, um, uh, mother has told somebody I'm seeing three it's like you you you've gotten you've gotten signs you've seen like three signs or three flags or three red flags or something that was alarm three things that rung the alarm you know what i'm saying made you go hmm and i feel like that was all that was the angels trying to give you that was these these angels that surround you that was trying to give you signs to get away from certain things so whatever you, it's like, <clears throat> whoever these two energies are, it's like, it's time to do it. It's no more procrastinating. Somebody has been procrastinating, but you, it's time for you to connect back to your roots. It's time for you to, to, you know, focus on what you're giving, what you're about to give birth to, what you're creating. Okay. Your child, your kids. All right. Um, somebody has to detox. But there's, um, somebody lives in a log cabin, or somebody is, somebody's in a Pocono, somebody's going to the Poconos, or 
somebody's going like to the cat skills or something like that. I'm, I'm seeing like the woods, wooded areas with snow. Oh, storm warning. Okay, so I feel like you walked away from something just in time. I feel like you walked away up from something and activated your roots just in time. Because something is it's, it's a storm warning. Something is coming down because somebody didn't respect you. Somebody didn't put respect on your name, didn't respect your body. Or these energies that you're around don't respect you. And I feel like if you do not get away from these energies, you're going to go down in the storm. You're gonna go down with them, but I. But there's four. There's four energies around you. There's four energies around you that 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 made sure that you got away from something. That made sure that you respected yourself enough to 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 move. So, like I said, if you're still in an energy where you're entertaining these two, this can even this can be a couple. This can be two, you know, just two people, two separate individuals, two people working together. However it goes, these two people were, were negative, evil energies. They had, they had other plans. These, these, this couple was acting like something that they were not. Okay. And I feel like. I feel like maybe you had to walk away from somebody that was pregnant too. Or maybe this could be a couple, a couple that's pregnant that that you had to walk away from because you were guided to, because there was some type of storm coming. And, it, and I feel like everything is about respect. I feel like these energies are like getting rid of anything and everything that don't respect you. <laughs> It's like they're getting rid of it. It's like with the snow, it's like they're putting these energies on ice. I feel like these nature spirits are coming around demanding respect on your name. That's crazy. It's like you don't even have to demand respect on your name. Nature does it for you. The fairies, the elves, the, the rocks, the trees, the birds, the bees. It's like they do it for you. Okay, they bring towers and storms to everybody who do, do not put respect on your name. And I feel like you know what that is? You know what the the storm that they bring to people's lives is you walking away. Yeah, somebody walks when you walk away or walk out of people's lives, it causes it causes the storm for them. And it's and it's and it's because of respect. I feel like you are a representation of God. Like you are a representation of the most high. So it's like when you come into people's energy or when in, when people meet you or something like that, it's like they're, they, they're truly meeting God. So how they treat you is how they, they treat God. So it's like at the end of the day, when you are called or told, intuitively guided to walk away from, from things, it's because the lack of respect that they just won't allow. You see how she's looking? It's just it's just some things that we won't allow is what I heard. Mother said, there's just some things that I won't allow. I'm hearing you don't get struck twice. What's that? Something's about to be a phenomenon. Something is about to, and it's all, be, and I feel like somebody was trying to cause some type of heartbreak to your family or something like that. I feel like this is, I feel like, yeah, it was just a lot of disrespect, a lot of disrespect going on, you know, but I feel like you're in an energy where you can relax, where you can relax because there is some, because nature is fighting. Nature is bringing the storm 
in, in three people's lives, or it could be a couple in one person, or it can be, you know, um, you can be, you know, the married person dealing with, you know, two, uh, three people, however the story is playing out in your life, you know your story, okay? But whatever it is, when you, when you walked away from these people, or, you know, when you truly decided to become your original self, it brought towers and storms into these people that did not put respect on your name, okay? And I feel like it's it's because of, of oh, the Black Madonna. Oh, it's because of the mother energy. You see how the mother, in, like this mother energy is going to fight for her child. So I feel like that's what it is. Nature fights for you because nature is, is the mother energy, right? So I feel like somebody got to get back into their, their, their gifts, their talents. Like that's where your focus needs need to be at on what you enjoy doing. Okay, you enjoy listening to music and dancing. Maybe you know get back into that. Uh, listen to frequencies. Yeah. I feel like you, you you walked away from something because you wanted peace. I feel like you had to walk away from three energies. You had to walk away from whatever was pulling pulling on you pulling on your root. I feel like something was pulling on your energy so that you could not focus on yourself. Okay, and I feel like you walked away because all all you want is peace. I feel like that's what you're looking for in your life. Okay, um, peace and happiness, a good time. You know, I'm seeing a good time. You know, smiles. Okay, I'm I'm getting hippie vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like you just want to be hippie. You want to be happy. You want to be you know I don't know if somebody smoked their weed. They want to be chilling. They they want to they want to enjoy their music and play their instrument and stuff like that. It's like you don't want to be in no energy where you, you have to battle with people that's that's negative and 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 evil. You know you don't want to be in an energy where you have to continue to give to somebody that's draining you. Okay, that you're constantly giving, but you're not receiving in return. I feel like, you know, you you can be a single mother. You can already have children. So it's like you you don't have you don't have time to to worry about or focus on things that that just doesn't matter in your life. And I feel like, you know, whoever these energies were, they 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 brought chaos in your life. They didn't bring peace. They brought some type of chaos. It's like it was always some type of drama, always something going on, always this, always it was always something. It was never just any peace with whoever this was. It was like they they were always coming to you, uh, giving you some type of negative energy. Even if it wasn't like you know they're giving you attitudes or whatever, but the stories, what they're talking about, just very low vibrational, just very low frequency beings. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you know that that low frequency was d pulling on your energy, so it can power up, but it's not giving you anything in return. So it's you know depleting you. So whenever you left these energies or got away from these people, it was like you felt drained. You didn't feel you know like your original self. And I feel like this is this is this is very important this weekend for you is being in your original energy, being being in your original self, you know, not being around people that's draining you, but people that's going to bring you peace. Okay. So you're walking away from everything that don't that, that doesn't serve you, okay? Resisting everything that doesn't respect you. Respect, didn't I say? They didn't respect you. And because they didn't respect you, it's 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 time it's like it's time for you to resist that resist those energies. They said when you resist the, the Satan, he'll flee. Okay, when you when you resist the enemy, he'll flee. So mother wants you to resist these energies, okay? So maybe these energies might try to uh maybe you know, being that I'm seeing you walk you this walking away. So maybe you have walked away from, from these people or you know the whoever this is whoever these three people are you walked away from that from them and i feel like maybe they're going to you know try to come back or try to you know disturb your peace some way somehow 
but remember you are an alchemist okay very mystical mythical oh i keep saying mythical so maybe you are this you are a mythical being too but you're very mystical so um with this with this alchemist energy you you can alchemize whatever is sent to you so mother is saying that whenever these energies come towards you transform whatever they're sending to, to to you or whatever they give to you transform it into power and make sure you continue to resist what doesn't serve you what does, what takes you away from your original form okay yo it's a lot going on it's a lot going on what's this about what's this about vision yeah whoever it's like whoever these people were they did not under they did not see your vision they did they could not see your vision they could not accept your change they could not accept your elevation they could not accept your growth they could not accept the things you know th this new level or these new levels that that you were you were coming into they could not accept it they did not see the vision okay but the understand some it's 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 your vision a lot of people are not going to see your vision because it's yours Okay, so it's not about these people seeing your vision. And maybe you was trying to get these people to see your vision. But mother said is to get away from people that don't see your vision. Get away from people that, that disrupts your peace. Okay, that cause you that, that brings you chaos. Okay, you have to walk away from these energies. The only way these energies are going to receive what their karma or receive the storm is, you know, receive their 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 just due for the souls that they were. For the souls, for the seeds that they were sowing when it came to when it came to you, all this disrespectful energy that they were sending towards you because they didn't see your vision, they didn't trust in your vision, they didn't think that it's like I feel like somebody somebody wanted you to follow their plan, but they didn't want you to follow your your plan. They wanted you to follow their vision. And I feel like they was in some type of energy where if you didn't follow what they wanted you to do, they was going to off you. They was going to cut you off somehow. They was going to put an end into whatever, you know, you you had going on. There was going to be a, 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 a real hindrance, a real blockage in your life. Okay? They was going to try to kill you, assassinate you, take you out of here. Right? Because this that, isn't that what they did to Left Eye? And they said that she, she got into a car crash? So at the end of the day, when you when you are on that path of self enlightenment, it'll be people that's not going to see your vision. These people are not supposed to be along your path. Understand that. The longer you keep energies that that are not supposed to be along your path, you're going to hinder yourself. So it's time. It's like mother stepped in. Mother stepped in. Mother brought a storm to a situation because some it was it was too it's like time was up. It was like somebody was holding on to something for too long. And I feel like that's why it's some type of storm coming. So maybe you was holding on to these th three energies or something for too long. And it's like mother is stepping in, like I'm I'm here to 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 save my baby, to get my baby up out of this. Cause what is this? And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna maybe bring some type of pain and suffering. But at the end of the day, it's like when you when you when you are disobedient, this is what comes with it. So in order for you to get the peace that you're looking for, you're gonna have to go through the fire. You're gonna have to feel you know the the, the pain of disobedience. Because when 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 you were supposed to leave a situation or let something go a long time ago, you know you didn't do it. So these people could not see your vision. They could not accept your vision. So you had to walk away from them. You had to stand up for yourself, stand your ground, okay? And I feel like because you knew that your vision brings something, some type of luck, your vision brings some type of success. It's, it's, it's success for you within your vision. It's success for you within your original self, within your authenticity. It's success for you there. But everybody's not going to see your vision. And it's okay. You got to stand your ground. And I feel like you, when you walked away, that was you standing your ground. Or when you walk away, that is you standing your ground. And trusting and believing in your wisdom. In, in, in your, okay, in your wisdom. I was going to say your vision, but they said wisdom. Trust and believe in your wisdom. Somebody here has wisdom. And when you don't trust your wisdom, 
you you can you stay connected to negative and evil energies and and, and and people and things that just don't that no longer serves you. So walking away from whatever doesn't serve you is truly, truly, truly you standing in your power. You taking your energy back. You showing that, you know what, I believe in myself. I know this is going to be successful for me. These people did not believe in you. I feel like they did not bring peace. They did not bring peace along your journey towards self. Because they couldn't see your vision. This can even be family. Okay? Confidence. They want you to remain confident. I feel like somebody is about to get some type of money. Okay? So a windfall of money is what I just heard. Some type of money is coming towards you. Okay? And I feel like this is going to... I feel like somebody's going to move. Somebody's going to move to the woods. Somebody's going to get a cabin or something. I feel like there's some type of windfall of money that's coming towards you. But... It is old towards you. It's, it's, it's because of your vision. Because you walked away and believed in your vision. So your vision is about to to pay off for you. This this or, or maybe even if you are you know the pregnant you have you're the one with the child and around you know these these negative energies. It's like I feel like this child is very special. Like I said, so this child is going to bring some type of uh is going to break some type of generational curse of poverty that's what i heard it's a generational curse of poverty over your life okay but i feel like your child is is the curse breaker your child is the chain breaker and this is and this is why they're so po they're powerful within the womb with within your womb so it fills these energies around you and it's like they're trying to tell you to get away from these energies okay but you walking away believing in your vision okay somebody is about to get offered deal maybe yeah like i said somebody's a singer so somebody's about to get offered something okay something records or something like that so maybe you're about to work with some type of um label or maybe you're about to start up your own label okay i feel like um i'm getting here too so maybe somebody somebody does here I'm getting fashion too. So fashion, hair, and music is something about these things that are very important. It's some type of deals coming towards you, some type of money deals, okay? Mother wants you to remain confident, okay? Um, yeah, voice, remain confident, speak your truth. Um, gangster boo. I'm a gangster too. It's like somebody, it's like... I feel like somebody sees you as gangster. Somebody sees somebody. I feel like you did something, and somebody somebody said that's gangster. That's what I heard. Somebody said like that that was gangster. So I don't know. Somebody's giving you your props about maybe how you walked away from something, how you, you know, um, transformed some type of pain into power. Somebody's like, wow. Somebody here, yeah. Th somebody here thinks you're badass. Like, yeah, that's a like that's a that's a badass deal. That's a badass like that. That's that's one powerful. Being right there. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody, and maybe somebody wants to offer you something or for for your gifts and your talents. Okay, so whatever you know, you do hair. That's like yo, that that's a badass style right there. You cut hair, or you know, whatever you do with hair, or somebody, you know, some type of music. You're a rapper. You're a singer. You're you, you know, you're a producer. It's like yo, that's a tough ass beat. That's a that's a dope ass verse. You know, it's like somebody is like giving you your props. Okay, and and with these and with this props and with and with this uh. With these accolades is going to come some type of finance, financial abundance, financial success, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like somebody here is from New York. I feel like, yeah, somebody's from New York. I feel like somebody's about to... I feel like they can't heal in New York. It's something... It's something I feel like somebody's moving. Somebody's about to move. Somebody's maybe moving to New York or moving from New York, okay? They're thinking about it, thinking about moving, getting up out of here, okay? Self-esteem. Yeah, they want you to, um, they want you to believe, trust in your potential at this time. You, you, you have a lot of potential, okay? You have a lot of potential. You got to believe in yourself. And I feel like 
these energies don't believe in me or these whoever these uh three people are are or were they they didn't believe in you or they don't believe in you so walking away from them is very vital to to you know crucial to your growth to your success because i feel like you are an inspiration you're you, you are innovative okay i feel like somebody here is a leader you have you have innovative leadership skills okay and i feel like you are an inspiration for many i feel like you will be awarded you will receive awards for some type of inspiration and i feel like this is what these fairies in in your your earth these earth guardians earth spirits are protecting they're protecting this 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 money they're protecting this this wealth okay So yeah, this is this is why these, these fairies are around you. This is why they want you to be at peace and want you to be in, in, in your original self because just in that energy alone, you you provide healing, you provide it's like you're you're a leader, you're just a natural born leader, okay? Okay, somebody here can be Somebody here can be uh they can they can like the same sex. Something about sexuality. Some somebody here is very sexy too. That's okay. Somebody here is very sexy, like you're a sexy leader. Or, you know, yeah, you could you could be in a in a relationship with a, a female. It can be two females in a relationship with each other. Um or these are these two females. I feel like there's two females that that's watching you that that want to sleep with you, but these it's like somebody wants to have, it's a it's a female it's a it's a uh, a female couple that want to sleep with you. So I don't know if I could be talking to a male. Okay, it could be a, a divine masculine that is two females that you maybe you slept with that there's some type of fight. Okay, maybe you're fighting with two females that you slept with. Okay, and you got to speak up about to these energies because I feel like it's. It's time for you to step into your, it's time for you to be a leader. It's time for you to take control of your life. I feel like somebody is, yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to hold something over your head, maybe because of sexuality, okay? Maybe somebody knows some type of secrets. Maybe somebody knows that, you know, uh, you know, you sleep with the same sex, you know, maybe you don't put that out there in the public or something like that. And, you know, but I feel like it's time for you to step into this leadership position, all right? I'm um, just, it's time for you to use your voice. Um... The, it, I feel like somebody's using some. It's because you didn't heal from something. That's why it, it's like somebody feels like they can fight you. They can continue to have some type of fight with you. But I feel like it's time for you to, yeah, acknowledge, you know, your faults and in some type of situation. It's time for you to acknowledge something so you can heal from some type of situation because it's time for you to step into, into your leadership skills, okay? Because somebody here is a, is a leader. They're very innovative. They have, uh, they have the ins like they they're very inspiring. It's something about your voice. You have the voice, mother. It's like you just have to remain confident, okay? You have to remain confident. So this weekend, maybe there's some type of opportunity coming towards you, or there's a, there's some type of talk about an opportunity coming towards you, all right? And um. I feel like it's because of your hard work, something about the, this hard work that you have put in, something about your inspiration and your confidence, okay, your self-esteem. It's, 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 it's definitely about you connecting to your original self, all right? So when you, when, when you connect to your original self, that's when life truly takes off for you. That's, that's when you elevate. That's when you go higher, okay, G3? Um, I'm going to get some closing messages for us. All right. I feel like the time is now. Your time is now. So be confident. I feel like you are protected by some type of fairies. They're connecting with you. All right. They're connecting with you. They're telling you who and what to get away from. You know, this baby that, that you're, you know, pregnant with is, is trying to warn you to get away from, you know, whatever is around you. Okay. You can be somebody around somebody, a, a, a pregnant couple or whatever. And they're, and they're, you know, and it's like your energy is telling you that it's time for you to, to get away from, from certain things and walk away. You, you just got to listen to what your intuition is telling you right now. But walking away is what needs to be done in order for you to come into yeah let go look at that i'm telling you let go in order for you to come into this 
it's something about this vision in order for oh okay in order for this vision to come to life thank you so you, so it's like you let you had you had to let go of these energies and these and i feel like something was said something like you maybe you didn't want to let something go you didn't want to let these people go you know maybe you love them you know um You know, I feel like there's some type of there was some type of close connection with whatever you had to walk away from, and it was and it brought some type of pain and some type of suffering. But that was the whole point. So it can mold you, because that's what pain and suffering does mold you, mold you into this great leader that you are that I'm talking to. Okay. So letting go. Somebody needs to meditate. Okay. Get out in nature. Go to the woods and meditate. Okay, meditate with these fairy energies, these earth, these nature spirits that surround you. Okay, this mother energy that's that's around you, that's trying to get you to trust in your vision because you're ready. Okay, within the next few weeks. So I feel like there's some type of opportunity coming with coming towards you within the next few weeks. It's something about your health improving within the next few weeks. Somebody's been asking of their angels about that, trying to figure out ways to improve their health. But I feel like you're in some type of recovery, okay? And mother said that the situation will improve, okay? In the future, I feel like there's there's a lot of this this will be an abundant situation. Not not I mean not not, not an abundant situation. This situation will be sorted out. It will it will uh work in your favor or something will work out for you okay so whatever type of sickness you have you will you were worried about or whatever it's like um everything is going to be good okay the situation is improving it will improve mother said you just have to trust look like i said very successful peaceful resolution okay so there's going to be a peaceful resolution with whatever situation that you're in just can rem remember that you're an alchemist so you transform pain into power whatever you need to let go whoever these energies are these people are they they played it they played themselves okay they played themselves it just is what it is they played themselves you are they, they should have respected you when you were in their energy and because they could not put respect on your name you had to walk away and Every time you walk away from people and places and things that don't put respect on your name, you go higher and, and storms come to these people's life because they got to understand how to appreciate the presence of God. All right, G3. Love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, I hope that you got... The, the clarity that you needed, that you were looking for in this message, all right? I um, hope that you have an amazing weekend. I love you guys. Stay safe. If you want to, you know, leave, um, leave your girl a donation, all of my information is down below. If you want to book a personal witch assist, my information is down below too. Um, love you guys. Thank you again. And until next time. Bye.